Hi guys, this is a basic tutorial on how to create alpha maps um, using Crazy Bump and Photoshop. Uh, the alpha maps I'm going to be creating, uh, you don't have to create this one, but this is the sort of one that I'm going to be creating, is a fur sort of detail map. Uh, basically, just to help me in creating fur. So you can do this for skin, hair, uh, you know, like skin pores, skin details, all these other kind of details that you might want to do. So first, you're gonna need to get an image. Uh, this is the image that I got for this. This one. Uh, you need this sort of range of darks and lights inside your inside your texture. It doesn't matter about the color because it's going to be grayscale anyway. So you want to open the inside Crazy Bump and it will prompt you to pick a pick a shape. Um, it doesn't matter which shape you pick. Uh, what matters is the normal map which is generated from it. So in Crazy Bump you've got a, a whole load of sliders which you can change which will also change the um, normal map interactively. So obviously you turn the intensity up, the intensity of the normal map will go up and it will look horrible. As <laughs> shown by here, you can change the ball to a column roller box and a ball, obviously. Um, this will change the mesh inside the inside the preview. So what we're going to do is we're going to take down the intensity of our normal map to about 60, no, about 50. Uh, sharpen all pretty much sharpen all the individual strands. That's that's nice. Might like that actually. Uh, ignore the very fine detail. Uh, fine detail might want to go up a little bit. I don't think that's actually doing anything. I can't see it. But the large details, very large details as well. So tweak it to how you feel. be beneficial. And then you when you've finished around messing around with the normal map sliders, go to displacement, change around the depth map. I'm gonna keep it a rather medium vial that value. Uh, enhance the detail a little bit. About thirty five will do. Soften I'm gonna keep that as is. Then I'm gonna export this out, save it out to a place of your choosing. <coughs> <laughs> and I'm going to import this into. This is the one I made before. Uh, I'm going to open this, go to f the place I just found it, or where I saved it. Then you go to adjustments. Sorry, make sure it's grayscale. Go to image, image size. Set it to a power of 2, 1024, 1024. Um, Get your gradient tool, make sure it's on transparent to foreground, or foreground to transparent, I don't know which order it is. And find the middle of this picture using the ruler tool, which is Ctrl R. Um, I think the middle's around there ish. So I'm going to drag out to near the end of the image. Ctrl J, Ctrl J, Ctrl J, which duplicates them all and then control B on all of them. Uh, control click on the black layer. Inverse. Hide that layer and delete the image below. See it's got it's got this feather from the gradient there. So now you need to make a black layer using the paint bucket tool. Uh, delete your selection or remove your selection and then push the black layer underneath the alpha so then you flatten everything flatten image, discard hidden layers save as alpha for 001 <coughs> <coughs> oh, it's already been used, I've already got that open so I'll save that as something else alpha for 002 then you open this back up, alpha fur 002, 
and that's even nicer than the one I did before. So you can do this for skin, hair, um, fur, obviously. Uh, if you've got like an animal, you know, you can take a picture of your animal's fur. You can use the same method, and you can pretty much make a alpha out of anything. So I hope this helped. Um, thank you for watching, and good luck making your alphas. Thank you. Bye.